Today, we're gonna to show you how to install new SPC vinyl flooring over a plywood subfloor and give you a few tips to help your install go as smoothly as possible. How's it going? Jeff here with WB Tool News, and we've embarked on an exciting new project. Over the past few weeks, we've been transforming our small studio into a fully functional workshop, giving us more flexibility to shoot product reviews and how-to videos like this one. And if you find this video useful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Vinyl plank flooring is super popular for DIYers and contractors, primarily due to its durability, affordability, and ease of install. With the proper tools and prep, you can transform your space in just a day or two. For this project, we'll be installing Quality Crafts SPC Luxury Vinyl Floors. This vinyl flooring material has a rigid core made from powdered limestone, polyvinyl chloride, and stabilizers. It's dense, dimensionally stable, quiet, and extremely strong. Before you get started on a project like this, you will want to make sure you have all the tools for the job. For a complete list of the tools we used, take a look at the description below. Our install is pretty straightforward. Aside from a few vents and a crawlspace access hatch, the flooring should lay down nice and easy. After discussing our plan of attack over a cup of joe, it was time to get to work removing the trim and pulling up the carpet. After scoring the caulking, the S-Wing handy bar was the perfect tool for popping off the baseboard with minimal damage to the drywall or trim pieces. With the baseboard and floor outlet removed, we rolled up the carpet. Make sure you're wearing a good pair of gloves to avoid any unnecessary puncture wound. Those random staples always have a way of finding an unprotected hand. Since our new flooring would be transitioning back the carpet at the room's entrance, we took extra care here. Using a straight edge and a ruler and a fresh utility blade, we made a nice clean cut, which would be covered by an aluminum carpet transition strip. After taping up the carpet and tossing it in the rig for disposal, we removed the carpet tack strips. These things are fastened using a barbed nail, so a good pry bar can be especially helpful here. We rolled up the carpet padding and got to work on everyone's favorite part, staple removal. A cat's paw or curved jaw diagonal cutter like the 447 from Channel Lock are great tools for this job. Be thorough here to ensure your subfloor is smooth, even, and staple free. Sweep up the large debris and give it a good pass or two with a vacuum, because now we're going to get started with the fun part. These next few steps are crucial. They'll have a substantial impact on the look and feel of your space, so listen up. First. Consider which direction you want your planks to run. Just like stripes on a shirt, a horizontal pattern will make the room feel wider, while a vertical pattern will make the room feel longer. We wanted to accentuate the length of our room, so we decided to arrange our planks in this manner. Because our room was not exactly square, which is pretty common in older houses like this one, we decided to begin our install from the center point. We measured accordingly and snapped a reference line. This is what everything will build off, so take care when doing this step. Using a spacer to allow for expansion, we aligned our three pieces and carefully began laying our planks along our chalk line. To avoid any unattractive repetition and give our floors an aesthetically pleasing look, we used a full plank, half plank, quarter plank pattern. Stone core flooring like this can be cut using a variety of methods. However, the most quick and efficient method is using an LVP cutter like this one. Just mark your plank with a speed square, align it on the cutter, and firmly press down on the lever. The amount of time a cutter like this will save you is well worth the price tag. So do yourself a favor and pick one of these up prior to your install. A quick tip for any DIYer tackling a project like this. These planks click together and require one full edge of the tile to be free to fit them in place correctly. This means you have to build off of a completed column, not work across the room in rows. As we laid our planks in place, we used a soft face mallet to tap the edges and click them into position. From there, it was rinse and repeat. We worked across the room in both directions until we reached the outer perimeter. It took us about four hours to lay it all down and get it just right. The most challenging parts were the vents and crawlspace access hatch. Take your time with details like these and get the measurements right. We used a table saw to plunge directly into the planks and a fine tooth pull saw to finish the cuts. Another little tip to hopefully help you avoid a rookie mistake, when measuring for your floor registers, make sure your cutout will be covered by the vent. Don't use the vent flange as a guide like I did the first go around. Since we were installing our flooring in place of carpet, the flanges needed to be trimmed to allow for the planks to fit tightly around the floor registers. A good pair of aviation snips like these from Midwest were perfect. For the crawlspace access hatch, we used a flooring adhesive and kept with the plank pattern we used throughout the room. We clamped the planks in place and let the glue cure for 24 hours. A quick note, this was not a recommended method from either the adhesive or the flooring company. 
but it ended up working quite well. With everything back together, we are super pumped with our final product. The quality craft flooring looks fantastic. It is quiet underfoot and will allow for quick, easy project cleanup. My key takeaway is that Quality Craft's SPC vinyl flooring is 100% DIY friendly. With the right tools and a little bit of research, anybody can install these floors. Up next, we'll be showing you the installation of our new workshop cabinets. If you like this video and want to follow along with our workshop studio improvements, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell for notifications. Till next time, keep working and take care.